This is one of my most popular video vehicles that I have ever made. And you know what? I do kind of love it. Whoop, that, that. It does an 8.7 down the quarter mile. Now, if you know anything about drag cars, anything under 10 seconds is generally pretty good. But when it came to turn the truck into any sort of dragging sort of vehicle, and this time I mean actually dragging stuff through dirt, not dragging down a straight road thing. Semantics. I think it was a little bit unfair that I did away with a diesel that was so popular with you guys. So I'm gonna try to take the idea of a diesel dragster, put it in a diesel truck, but make it look a little bit more like an actual drag vehicle. Yeah, okay, so maybe not the best example of a drag vehicle, but it's kind of the idea we're going for. Extend that nose out to move the weight a little bit further back, and then we're going to put on some big fat drag slicks as opposed to these Chunky boys. But I suppose I'm not really one to talk. So at our workshop, the first thing we're going to do is clear out that hood. We just don't need it. And then the engine, let's go a big V12 drag one. You know, just because I spent so much time on it and I really, re oh, I didn't realize that it messes up that. Ah, oh, well, let's, do, let's ignore the downsides. The 10 speed transmission, we do have a five speed automatic. That might be a better choice. And you know, I don't actually know what these mean. Let's move on. And we're going to look at putting on the right sorts of wheels and tires. If you have a look at the front axle, front hubs, front wheels, the only option we have is aluminium and steel. Like there's no other choices there. We, however, want pizza cutters. Now, I don't know if the pizza cutters are gonna be able to take the weight, but at least give me a chance to try it. Let's grab some hubs for the front. And in here we have our brakes, our wheel and our wheel data, all in the hub section. Okay, now let's have a look. That is a five lug, and that's just its own sort of thing. So let's call this a downgrade to a five lug. The slot type is right, but it's here where things are gonna start to change. We don't want this. So let's grab the wheel type. Perfect. And what that'll allow us to do is to grab the Burnside type wheels. 15 by four at a dragger. Then if we go five lugs, oh, that's a problem. At a dragger front wheels. There seems to be a bit of an offset problem though. Why is the offset so wonky? And where are the wheels? Hold on. If I pause, reload in the vehicle, we can see that it does actually spawn them in. It's just the offset is really, really wrong. All right. Let's add a meter on. Please work the way I want you to. Okay, that's too far. And also, only the tire moved? I'm very confused. Okay, so maybe when it's just really far away from this, it just instantly breaks before even the physics start playing, because currently the game is paused until it's just right. And if we go any further in, you can see that it'll start to clip through the old hub stuff. Yeah, we, we don't want that. But wait, hold on, there's flex bodies. Can we just get rid of just the bolts? Will, will that clear them out? Oh, okay, we can make this a little bit narrower. Mate it up almost amazingly. There's a little bit of like, maybe some modification you might have to make to the wheel, but that's looking good. Unpause. There's a bit of a strength problem. Why is this SW? I have never seen that before in my life. That is so weird. All SWs are changing to FWs. And hopefully, God damn it. Grab this code, drop it in the end of our custom hub, change all the FWs to, what was it, SW? Refresh in beam and G and whoa, hello. That's not how that was meant to go. Failure. You know what it is? It's probably the node weight. The original stuff node weight is 10 and here it's five. So yeah, obviously that's an issue. Wait, nope, hold on. Refreshed again and it's just decided to work for once. Though, hold on. <laughs> I think the tire might not be dealing with the weight so well. Tire pressure, that's a lot. 50 PSI? Can that hold up? I'm surprised that the wheel is just not being destroyed under the weight, but I mean, 
That's not too bad. Okay, well, it needs to be more than 50 PSI. I mean, this is it's not the greatest, I'm going to be honest. But the real only option is just to add more PSI. Where's my variable section? I've lost it. Don't tell me that the pressure itself is actually not here. All right, let's go into the tire section. And variable tire pressure. Perfect. Okay. Now I have to make a custom tire as well. And increase 50 to like 80. Now... Because I'm stupid, I can increase the Psy. Perfect. The Psy is much better, and the tire's only being slightly crushed under the ginormous weight of this vehicle. I could also add the superjudges in, but we might leave that for now. Now to move on to the rear tires, which are also going to get the drag wheel treatment. Though these ones might be a little bit modified to be a smidgen bit bigger. And now I have to find, like... Which one it is, because there's like multiple rear hubs that could exist. And if we have a look here, 10 lug rear hubs, and then 10 lug rear hub. They're called exactly the same thing. Oh, rear rear. Okay. Whereas these are just rear. Okay, good. I think we may have this. So this one is rear rear, and one is just rear. Good. Okay. Plop the code in there so it grabs the right wheel. This is called the DW1R. Sure, okay. And change everything to be DW. Node weight is also 20. So, oh yeah, lucky we looked at that. Six node weight, not enough. Grab those five lug. Okay, that's... It's not going right so far. The wheels are on and so are the tires, but they just don't like to exist. Flex body error. Ah, hold on. Let's turn the collision mesh back on then. No, nope, I still, oh, there they are. Ah, okay. Uh, not what I was expecting. Also, there's dual wheels. That could be a problem. But I suppose, you know what? It's a truck. I could, I could, I maybe pull that off. We could see that, yes, there's one lot of wheels made and then another lot of wheels made. Hmm. All right, well, it looks like we'll need a custom wheel data, but we'll get to that in a bit. For now, I need to find out why this isn't working. Oh, they've given it like weird ass names. Now, if we do a little refresh, it should at least show up. Nope, of course. Oh, I found the wheel. It's inside because I stuffed up. Um. Frick. Maybe instead I should just offset a little bit more? Close. Okay. We're getting there. Things have to be fixed. Uh, what's the best way to do this though? I suppose technically the best thing to do would be to add more node offset this way. That shouldn't move the full... the... the... good. Okay. The way I've got this set up, it doesn't move this, but it does move all the flex body stuff. So we just got to get this a bit right. Now the only thing left is to get a custom tire in, because currently the tires here are not happy. It's because this uses like a weird custom sort of group that is not used in any other vehicle. But that's also because the normal truck has like up to eight tires and wheels on the back, so things have to get a little bit funky at least. It's my job, however, to unfunkify things. Why do I put myself in such hard positions? Two hours later. What's the chances this works right away? Oh, it's glorious, except for the fact that the hub is kind of poking through. Hmm, I suppose we're just gonna have to offset everything just a little bit more. But that's looking good. Except for the fact that like, really, really weird sizes. I suppose I could change this front bumper and have it look really good by turning into like a front wing. If we take a look, normal drag cars do have a front wing, though then again, this is for a mid-mounted engine, so it's a little itsy bitsy bit different. But take into consideration just how cool it'll look. At the moment, how does this drive? Lots of wheel spin on dirt, to be expected. Now we're on bitumen. Come to a stop. Like the leverage on those front wheels when they turn. Not great, but we'll get to that. Go, 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 go. Okay, lots of traction. Let's head over to the drag strip. A nitrous oxide system intake T600 turbos. As for the nitrous system, 20s. And let's go a 400 kilowatt shot. Revs up, get that turbo spalling, and off we go. Okay, we might need a slightly longer diff ratio because this thing is struggling. 13, oh, 
That is the longest diff ratio. Shoot. I suppose I don't need to change the final drive if I just put on bigger tires. But these are maxed out, right? Well, not exactly. If we go to the tire section, radius 395, let's increase that to like 700. Oh, 0.7. Refresh it, and those tires, much bigger. Okay, that's a bit big. Let's down that to like 55. That should be a little less ridiculous. There we go. But you may notice that only... Ah! Okay. Yep, that was camera movement. You may notice that the flex body stuff, the visual mesh, has not changed at all. Instead, we have a position, rotation, and scale. As long as we change everything except the X value, we should be good. So let's go to like a 1.1. And a little refresh here, and... Oops, I've accidentally made it oblong. Basically, I was meant to change it to the Y and the Z. I just did the Y. And that's actually pretty good at lining up. All right, we have our drag wheels. And I love the rake, it's fantastic. Do we have no drive? There we go, arcade mode. All right, I think... We're actually gonna have a good drive ratio. You know, I don't actually know. Is this gonna be any good? Okay, it's taken a really long time to change gears. Like a really long time. And I think we max out at what, 120, uh, 112? Okay, we're doing much better now. 130, 140, 100, nearly 150 by the end. Okay, this is promising. Those rear tires like to lock up really nicely though. Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a, uh, a new front bumper. Then grab one of these. Which one do I want? I feel there's actually probably a few of these that I want. So then I can go ahead and uh, put one on the rear as well. Because if there's one thing we're lacking, that's traction over the rear. And I can stick it in the up lift section. Uh, up lift section. I don't know why, but language has been really difficult for me today. Then we paste them into here. This one will go on the back. And this one will go on the front. If I bring an uplift in, I could see where I should mount this as well. Mm, kind of in the middle? Now we grab the structure from something like an SBR, then import the wing and move the J-beam stuff into place. Perfect. I feel that I should probably also make this a lot taller since it's like a drag wing. You're going to want it to like get air from over the cabin, but I suppose it'll be fine. Mm. Maybe. All right, you know what? How do I go about changing this? Could grab from here and just move it up that way. That doesn't look jank at all. Eh, whatever, we'll figure it out later. Bring in the fifth wheel and bring in the big wing. And now let's put in some beams. Easily enough. What's the chances this is going to work first time? And now with our upfit, a fifth wheel attack. Damn it. Why is this not working? Oh. Probably because I didn't call this right. And there we go. Oh, close. S very close. The only thing we want to do now is move everything forwards a chunk. And let's re-import the beam and decide that we want it to move uh, that amount, I suppose, there. Re-export the beam. And would you look at that? It is rocking. Ye 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 Except that's not meant to happen. Why is... Okay, maybe I moved it too far. Also, why are the flex bodies not all showing up? Oh, it's because these have alt on the end. I didn't put that in here, so there we go. Okay, and now, perfect, kind of. Except it's still really jiggly, and I don't know why. Let's just find some extra nodes to attach it to. F W R three R. God, that's that's a long name. Okay, right, much more stable now. It is not perfect, but it is a lot better. And if we drive normally, perfect. Okay, let's do the front. It is also looking a little bit dainty on the rear. I should probably fix that. I suppose I could just scale it up a lot. Much better. That's exactly what we expect. And because of the way in which the J-beam sort of stuff works, this wing being bigger does just create more downforce. One of the few things that I actually like about the J-beaming done with, uh, in regards to that, the, the backend stuff. Three hours later. Come on down. It's lined up perfectly. It's exactly what I wanted for Christmas. And how's that face look? The face looks 
fine and no fine spine. It'll do, but that's pretty darn epic. We're just lacking a lot of power. What I should do now is stick the good old superchargers on, or at least just one supercharger, and realize that this intercooler is wrong. Eh, it's fine. Or is it actually? Hmm. The supercharger was is, is going to be a problem because I'd need to go in and edit the V12 stuff and I don't want to stick this with a V12 build, though I suppose it wouldn't be too hard to stick this in with a V12 mod and just update the V12 mod. Oh, it's just the T600 is weird. The T400s are fine. Okay, this I can mess with. Probably a burn side might have the good parts in it. Oh, I think I see it. Nice. That looks the part, as long as you don't look closely, I suppose. And now what we'll do is grab a supercharger. The only thing we need is said supercharger. We got this unutilized slot, we as well grab that. Grab the name from here and plop it in and then uncomment it. What's the chances this works first time round? Probably not. It's under exhaust. That was the wrong name, but whatever. Close. Why did that flop down? You know what? It's probably because, yep, there's nodes involved. Frick. What are the engine nodes here called? Come on, show me what we got. They're called EN. I suppose I should have expected that. So it's not like the worst thing. I got this new skill, EN. Perfect. Quick little refresh. Well, that's not right. All right, let's slow the game down to 50 times, unpause, and what falls? Oh, there's a node from that that falls off and a wing node that falls off. Anything else? Huh. Ah, okay, in the flex body, I got the wrong group. Oh, I got it to work. Finally. I mean, that's clearly in the wrong place, but that's looking pretty darn good. Okay, we have a hack for this now, and I am so glad that the devs put it out there. Experimental vehicle editor, pick a prop, transform with the gizmo, and snugly fit you in. But now, with a bunch of finagling, oh, we good. Love it. Except, I kind of like the flaps going the other way. Rotation X90? Perfect, that's what we like to see. Whew, okay. Let's get ourselves in some power numbers. Let's turn the turbo one on. Yeah, we are generating a lot more because of this supercharger. It goes from, oh wow, there, okay, there's a lot here, Jesus. Well, anyway, you can see that this is combined 2000 horsepower compared to 600 with just the supercharger, 900 with just the turbo, and then naturally aspirated is 400. Okay. Uh, looks like the supercharger is adding at about 200 horsepower. And then all together, that's about 2000 horsepower. This is starting to look pretty ridiculous. But we're going to try to get close to the nine second quarter mile. Oh, wait, was it eight second that we got from the burn side? Burst it up and away we go. It's slow. It's very slow. I don't think this is going to be doing what we want. Oh, that's gone poorly, but at least it's not affecting the rear wing like we fixed earlier. Um, well, let's see what the time is actually. You know, I just realized I probably don't have the same amount of boost pressure as they do. So we'll figure it out. Also, the supercharger is meant to be like valved. If you're wondering, oh, oh too far. Damn it. Okay, we slept on the line. And that gearbox sucks. We might have to do something about making a slightly snappier gearbox because this takes quite a while. Oh, we also going to reach our top speed. Damn it, we're going to reach our top speed, aren't we? Yep, we're maxed out. But a 16 second, that's not slow for a truck. Also, they did a 12 second. How is that even possible? I suppose we could play a little bit with the supercharger values as well, since I think it's meant to be a little bit bigger than this. Gear ratio, clutching it, pressure ratio. Okay, pressure per 1000 RPM. Uh, since this is a lot bigger, they call this a 900 cubic inch compared to the burn side, which is a 420. Okay, so that's at least double, but now we're looking at it about four times because we've got a V12, not an inline six. So in here, four becomes 16 because it's four times as big. Make sense? Good. This thing is going to be entirely insane. We go from 2000 with everything up to 3500. Love it. 
but it really does drop off. Anyway, let's grab a transmission and we're sticking with the automatic. As for the gear ratios, we're gonna have to increase those a little bit. Maybe a 0.8, yeah. Change delay, let's bring that down to one. Gearbox decision smoothing down, let's change that to one. Don't really know what this means, but hopefully that works. And how does it drive? We're getting lots of wheel spin, but it is snappier to get into gear. Good, okay. That supercharger is really helping it get into its torque band. Except it's staying in gear way too long. Torque converter, let's go to a low torque converter ratio. I don't know, I don't know if that works. It doesn't look like it's doing any better. I think we need a higher torque converter. Well, it looks to be in that old wiki, so that might help us. This value determines the speed ratio where the torque multiplication reduced to a one and the torque converter acts to the fluid coupling torque converters with higher stall to tend to a couple of lower AV ratios reasonable due to this value thing. <laughs> I shouldn't have read this. Basically, I think we're exceeding that. Our current maximum torque is 13,600 and we're at 2,500. Yet let's, um, let's uh, increase that a smidge to 15,000. Will it do a lot better now? More burnout. It seems a lot faster. Gear changes are a lot snappier. Reaching a higher speed, probably. Oh yeah, we're going much faster this time. Okay, that torque converter is no slippy doodah. Increase the stiffness to 15. Still don't know what the couple of AV, still torque, I still don't know what that is. Now I know that the AI is a bit dumb, but I think, damn it, I was on the line. Uh, but uh, I think it's a good challenge. If I can beat it, come on, go, 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 all that nitrous, please. Nah, they're just way too fast. Can I get anywhere close to 10 seconds? That would be fantastic. We're also changing gears way too high up in the rev range. 13 seconds? You know, for a truck? Not horrible. This thing is doing all right. Not a lot of traction though. Okay. Uh, I reckon it's all in the transmission and drive line. Let's increase this to 20. I wanna get to a, like, a, a, within the 10 second range. And I think we're gonna grab a differential as well. So we're gonna have a better drive ratio. This AI is the worst AI in the world. What are you doing? Four revs. And then change gears as soon as possible. I could probably even drop first gear with how, like, freaking much talk this thing produces. We were so fast. An 11.86, holy cow. What about them? Yep, no, nope, there they come. 11.86, we're so close. Is that like within skill level? <sighs> okay, first gear elimination, easily done. And we'll just stick one on the end here, which will be 0 0.5. Where we go, come on. First gear, much better. Okay, you know what? I think this has gone much, much worse. So much worse. 11.60, okay, maybe we did all right and it was the AI that did better this time and maybe panic. I think we got a little bit more in the tank. I can do better on the first gear. And where we go. Okay, first gear. Doing pretty good. Second gear, way too short. Third gear actually works. What is happening? All right, well, I wasn't able to fix it. But I have turned gearbox safety off, and hopefully that will solve our issue. Okay, power off the line, and then we just change out a second gear as soon as possible. Change when I tell you to ch Okay, well it stuffed up the gear changes then. We do still manage to beat the other one, an 11.8, bugger. Let's try to not have a ruined gear shift in the middle there. Off the line, into second gear. Let it run out a little bit and then into third gear as soon as possible. That is our best bet. Look at that, like they're standing still. An 11-4. I think without cheating, that's probably about as far as we're gonna get. Goodness gracious. Uh, okay. 
Yep, that's a lot. Hmm, I think 11.4 is where this V12 monstrosity is going to sit. I'm gonna say though, this looks pretty freaking awesome and I love it. That is such a cool look to have the supercharger sitting on top there. I should probably animate the, uh, the blower pulley. Uh, I might also make the tires a little bit wider. We'll see how we go. Oh, turn, turn. Okay, not great handling. When we got these pizza cutter tires on the front. Oh, we've lost the mud flap. Okay, it, you know, it's a little bit hard to drive in a straight line as well. Well, despite not reaching the 10 second goal, we did reach the initial goal of being able to beat the Burnside diesel. And even if I, when I drive it, am able to get down to eight seconds. But despite all of that, this thing <laughs> makes an awesome drift truck. I think it's, uh, it's, it's pretty epic. And do you know what else is epic? My channel members, and that specifically includes the Rogue Tick, the Crown Priest. For everyone else though, I'll catch you all next time. Goodbye.